welcome back to Lisa, Life with Lisa and it is a Lisa TV. Welcome back to Life with Lisa. Why I always clapping my hands? Anyways, guys, today I'm going to do a very simple dish. It was a very much unplanned video. I'm going to cook today, so I just decided to, you know what? Let me record this. By the way, I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten anything for the morning, and it's basically going to 1 o'clock. I'm going to cook. So, today I'm going to cook stew chicken. I'm going to do some spaghetti by the side. And I'm going to do some white rice with breadfruit. So I hope you guys like this dish. But without further ado, let's get straight into this cooking video. Okay. Okay, so our main ingredient today would be breadfruit. It is one of the main ingredients. So breadfruit. We'll be needing rice. And we will be needing some spaghetti, right? I never used this brand before. It is called the Chowming. Oh, Chowming. I was in spaghetti. So it's the Chowming. So tell you all, y'all, I don't cook. I don't cook macaroni and thing like that. So that's why I said this is spaghetti. But it's actually Chowming. So Chowming. So these are the three main ingredients. And the extra additives would be things simple like salt, butter, sugar, oil, your seasoning, some extra seasoning. And basically that is all. I said butter already, right? This is some butter I have here. So basically extra seasoning that you would want like pepper, paprika and all those kind of stuff. You could add all those things in your food. But I'm using what I have and what I basically like because I don't like all the additives. I could use garlic and all those stuff, but right now I'm not in the mood for all of that. So I'm just going simple, easy and quick. So let's get straight into this dish. So this is my pan that I will be doing my chicken in and over here I have the pan, Ooh, the pot that I will be doing my chowming in and over here I have the rice, this is the amount of rice I'm using, basically like two cups of rice, that's the amount of rice that I will be using and this is basically like three cups of water. And the pan that I will be putting my sugar in. So to our frying pan, you could use a pot skillet, whatever you want to use. I'm going to put some oil. And in this oil is what I'm going to brown my sugar to create the stew chicken. And in the pot with the water, I'm going to put some salt. That's probably too much. I'm going to put some salt in it that I'm going to cook the macaroni with, the chowming with, I keep saying macaroni, and in that same pot, I will be putting a bit of oil, and over here we have the um, rice with the water, I washed out as much starch as I can, but now we gotta leave it to cook. I will be seasoning that with some salt, some of the seasoning I showed you earlier on, and some oregano, and some butter. So I'm going to put that in and then come back. It looks just about hot. So now I'm going to put in a bit of sugar, not much. So probably like this amount of sugar, I will put in, in my oil. And I'm going to let that kind of dissolve together. And then when it starts browning, I'm going to stir it up. But right now, I, I put my fire on low heat because I don't want my sugar to burn. This is how charming looks. Like that. Oh, I'm messing up the place. It's 
now I'm going to put this in the pot with the water. When you when you eat the chicken with the rice and the chumming together, it's like it balances everything out. It just balances everything out. Roasted breadfruit, I just fry them. People like to put salt on them, but I do really like salt and sugar and all those things. <laughs> Over here. I have some unsweetened juice. When I say unsweetened, like I mean no sugar is in this. I made it last night. No sugar is in this juice. And it tastes good for me. I don't need sugar. I hate I don't like drinking juice and sugar. So this is unsweetened juice, just the thing alone. The dinner what you need. So this food will be good with some nice unsweetened juice. I don't like juice with ice neither, so that's why I put it in the fridge. I will finish my food and I'll be back, okay? And see how I still can see me eat. That's fine. So I'm going to close out this video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this cooking with Lisa video. As you guys know, I don't really get down into all the ingredients and stuff because it's not like I'm teaching people something. I'm just doing it for fun. And if people want to do what I'm doing, then if they comment that, then I would put the... I would try my best to do videos where I'm explaining everything. But to be honest, that is really hard seeing that I don't really have no one to help me record. So, yeah, and my editing device is not all that proper. So, basically, this here ends the video of my cooking 
and i hope you guys like this subscribe make sure you subscribe and turn on that post notification bell to make sure you get new videos that i'm coming out with because i have a lot of ideas coming out lots of plant ideas this was not a plant video so I got lots of plant video coming out and um make sure you like subscribe comment share this video if you want make sure you hit me up on my social media on instagram at fake rasta underscore and i will make sure if you message me i'll make sure to respond to you guys' messages i love you guys and i love food bye